Missions Pulse. Know God's heart, join His mission. Language is a key that unlocks many different nuances of culture. I spent four years studying really hard when I was learning Chinese. I'll give you a lesson. Ma means mother. Ma, hemp. Ma, horse. Ma, to scold with a silent ma at the end becomes a question. So you can say, ma, 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 ma. Did mother scold the horse? You gotta spend some time on the Mandarin Chinese language to pick up those nuances of tonal, let alone all the other innuendos. But you're saying that without the language, the Holy Spirit can't work? That, that right there, I completely disagree with as well. Google, translate it, man. Exactly. And let, or, or hire a translator. Um, and uh, yeah, I'm, I guess I, I'm gravitating on this for a while too, is because I'm passionate about seeing the unreached world reached. Mm, right. Access to the gospel where they've never had it before. And I think that might be a good place to introduce you. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> Can we forget you know, to do that? <laughs> right. You know, in Ezekiel, God speaks to um, God speaks to Ezekiel, and yeah. He says, "I'm not sending you to a to a foreign language, to a foreign tongue, to mm-hmm. people that don't understand you don't understand their culture." Very interesting. He says, "If I was, they would hear you." Okay, that became a uh, something that the Holy Spirit. You know, you can read something, you can read the begats at some time, and then it'll become a now word for you, right? Yes. There. Well, for me, it became a now word. I saw that for Ezekiel, God said, I'm not sending you to a foreign place where they don't speak your language. But he said, because if I had sent you there, they would hear you. Hmm. And so I took that for me to say that I am being sent to a place that they don't speak the language. And, and I am being sent to a foreign land with different cultures. They're going to hear what I have to say. Hmm. Jesus couldn't do anything great, no mighty miracles in his hometown. But when he got outside where, they, where the languages and the culture and the ideas were a little bit different, um, there was more fruit. Yeah. In the same way, the apostles were sent out in the power of the Holy Spirit. They obviously didn't understand all the languages. They obviously didn't spend a long time learning all that, but they were very effective. But now have we changed in our approach to these places? Uh, I'm going to give you an interesting thing to think about. Um, if you look at the story of when Paul went to Athens, mm-hmm. he gets there and he tries to, to, to minister to them exactly the way they think. He begins to, to use philosophy. And later he'll call philosophy in vain deceit. He tries to philosophize with all these philosophies. Yeah. And he doesn't yield, it doesn't yield any fruit. In fact, it says only a few people followed him. But if you notice something there, he didn't talk a lot about the cross. He didn't talk a lot about uh, what Jesus came to, to do on the cross. He didn't really preach the gospel there. And, and when he leaves there, look at the timeline of when he writes 1 Corinthians. It's somewhere after the time he leaves this place and he says, you know, I've determined not to know anything among you except Jesus Christ and him crucified. Hmm. It leaves you to wonder if he didn't leave this place where he was talking all this philosophy and trying to get in their heads and understand the way they think and approach it the way they think um, and say, you know, that didn't work very good. We didn't have a lot of people follow us there. We didn't have a lot of people follow the gospel there. So I'm just going to just just focus on Jesus Christ Hmm. and him crucified. Here's what we found, whether it's uh, in East Nepal, whether it's in Bhutan, uh, any place that we go. And we went hut to hut to hut to hut in in, in Nepal. Place They had never heard the name of Jesus. Hmm. We walked to the door, total strangers, sit down out in the middle of a field with one family. They took us out in the middle of the field. And as we sit out in the field and begin to talk, all I did was the simplicity of why Jesus came, the cross, the resurrection, the gospel story and each person it ignited on the inside of them and they received the gospel yeah how many times do we not make the main thing the main thing right. jesus the glory of god at the epicenter of our message not all the contextualization and perspectives on the world christian movement as much as i love those ta- those strategies and ideas mm-hmm. ideas that glory of god needs to remain the epicenter missions pulse know god's heart join his mission This podcast is powered by Within Reach Global. Subscribe, watch, and listen on YouTube today. Visit missionspulse.com.